Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Urban Lifestyle Cafe. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother, and I'm here with my co host and wife, Alicia. Hello. So we finally got to get out this week and one of the movies we wanted to see was Game Night, um, a comedy. And we haven't seen a comedy in a while. In a while. Mm-hmm. Or a good comedy. Mm-hmm. A we, good comedy. Yeah. So most of the comedies we've seen was probably on TV, um, a show, but not really any good movie comedy. Mm-hmm. Can you think of any? Mm-mm. So this one, which is one of our favorite actors, Jason Bateman was on air. So with his dry humor and what he does, he's just hilarious. And he just he he's is. just so funny to me. You and know? you know, it seems like he's just doing great movies. He just he's just doing a lot of good stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we watched him earlier last, well, late last year. On the TV series Ozark, yes, and that yes. wasn't a comedy; that was a drama. Yes. But uh, he played amazing on there. Yeah, I can't wait to see it this year on part two. Yes, but this one we had a chance because you know, once again he does great comedy, um, and his co-star was Rachel McAdams. She's cool. I, I, I kind of like her. Bubbly, always fun. And everything. Um, the one that I remember her mostly on is True Detective. So she was on the True Detective series. Um, and she kind of was a standout in there. And then the Doctor Strange movie in 2016. But, you know, she popped here and there with some other movies that was, it was, it was decent. She was right. on Spotlight, too. I forgot right. that one. Right. She played really well on that, too, as, as one of the reporters. But she did really well. But nothing that kind of like stands out. Stands out. But I feel she's a good actress. So you know, there's some actress they throw out there and, and try to say she's amazing, but they're really not that amazing. Well, Rachel is fun, so you you would enjoy seeing her. So what was this one about? Um, I'm gonna give you the short skinny on this one. A group of friends who meet regularly for game nights find themselves trying to solve a murder mystery. It's pretty much that that simple, you know, which is like really crazy. So Jason Bateman, um, he plays guy Max. He's married to Annie. They're like game addicts. You know, when they open the show up, they love to compete with like little games and they got friends that do games and um, but he has a brother that everybody looks up to and say, oh, he's the best and he's this and that. But he shows up and say, hey, if y'all want a real game night, then I got a game night for y'all. And his brother name is Brooks, played by Kyle Chandler. So what did you think about the other co-actors or actresses on there? They were good. I mean, it was a nice um, flow to it. Yeah, so um, they wasn't they wasn't lost, you know. Like you know, when they have like supplemental actors or actresses, and you kind of like, eh, whatever. But they no, pretty they much were, blended they were well. Actually, funny. I mean, they were funny in the in the movie. Yeah, they were like because you could see <laughs> the the how they they was like they all got along. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying um, it was just funny how. You know they broke up in the two. They broke up in the teams, mm-hmm. and then they were messing with the uh, one guy. Um, what's his name? Damn it, I got out of it. But they were messing with the one guy because he always got um, the some stu- the some stupid stupidest blonde. Woman. Yes, that yes. Show up yes. because he was an idiot as well. But he always brings some. He new, was Ryan. Yeah, he, he was, was one Ryan. Who Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, his name is Billy Magnuson. Yeah. Ryan was always bringing these stupid women. But he, was a, he was a stupid guy. He was then he, really then he, weird. Right, and what was so interesting when his bro, when um when um what is it um Jason Bateman's brother? Yeah, Max. Max. When Brooks came came into town, he's like, "Hey, let me do a game night at my house." Then 
um, Ryan decides to bring a smart woman. <laughs> he just said, that's a friend from work. And she's kind of like, uh, yeah. But uh, then he winds up like, wow, she's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she really smart. Which is really smart. crazy. And then the other couple that was there was the black couple. Yeah, the black which couple. Which they made their own um, time in the movie, too. Mm-hmm. They wasn't just, you know, kind of black people that kind of showed up. They had their part in the movie, which was which was funny as well, you know. Um, so the characters on here was really pretty good. Yeah, because you had the two married couples, and they were oh, the black couple and and then um, Max and his wife, Max and Annie. Yeah, yeah and it was it's cool because they were oh, they were fighting or just having this discussion about something that happened um, in their relationship or during their because yeah, they were dating since um, middle school. So she was like, no, I only slept with you. That was the only one. No, no, no. It was so funny. Oh, my God. Because she was like, well, when we broke up, you know, you know, I was with such and such. And, yes, I was with Denzel. <laughs> so she didn't say Denzel at first. No, she didn't. She no, she said didn't. she. So they was playing like a troop of dare uh, or, or the drink game. So if you told the truth on something, you had to take a drink. Uh, so they was like, who slept with a celebrity? And they were talking, and all of a sudden she took a sip and just put a drink down. And he was like, whoa, whoa, wait wait a minute. Did you just take a drink? She was like, oh, no, no, I, I was drinking in between them asking a question. He was like, no, that's gone. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. But it was, it was funny. And so that was like an ongoing thing between them in the movie. It didn't get old, but then when you thought it was kind of like, come on, bro, get over it. Then the twist was something kind of different from there, which made it funnier. Yes, it did. You know, it at did. the end. Yeah. But and then they had um, the guy named is uh, Jesse Plemons, Gary, their neighbor who was a cop and who used to um, come to game night with them with his wife, and his wife left him. But he was a cop, and he was like obsessed with them. And, you know, just a strange fucking dude. And that was yeah, that was a good twist even on the twist within the movie, too. Yes, it was. Which was, like, really, really weird. But the thing is, they it was, it was a little suspenseful, but it was funny as hell. Each time you think one way, it goes another way. And it, it was just hilarious. To me, um, it was the... How would you say? It was how you got to the end. Because you didn't know where the end was going. Because once you thought it was ending, it didn't end. And then once you said, oh, that was it, and then it was something else. But it wasn't anything dumb. You you follow what I'm saying? I mean, and because there was just so many different parts of it that just kept going. Like, they didn't let it, it didn't die in, in, um, in joke and putting the jokes in. You know what I'm saying? There was always when you when you actually was um um watching the movie, it never skipped the joke. Like the part where he was trying to get the the, the um people's name for his brother mm. and he bleed all over the dog. Oh yeah. So he he was trying to do the research to find out who is this guy that he sold it to, but he was shot. And you know, he was shot and he it's not like he went to the hospital and she did a good job. So his wife had to actually sew him up. But what really happened was they were trying to pull a bullet out. <laughs> yeah, with the bullet went through his arm, but they didn't realize that until they was like, oh wait a minute, God. that's bone that I'm trying to take out. <laughs> and then they lift his arm up and they was like, wait a minute, that's called an exit wound. <laughs> so it was like... The bullet already went through. Oh my so, God. Oh, that was so, so funny. they had some great chemistry too. So, oh you know, um, Jason and and Rachel had good chemistry as a as a couple. So and they the, were really good. Together. I mean, the part where the, the the other part was when he was doing the research and he didn't know blood was dripping onto the carpet, then onto the dog, then he tried to wipe the dog. Then he probably poured water over the dog and, and then, wiped the dog. And then the <laughs> it just dog got just, worse. <laughs> it was just kept going worse <laughs> and, he said, and worse. He's like, he the was dog, like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> and just left. 
which is the right thing to do. You know, stop digging the hole. You're getting deeper and deeper. So, it it so, was some good parts. It was it was definitely funny. Yeah. It it was definitely funny. It it was one of the best comedies for, for early this year, which was Well, actually go from the end of last year, there had there was comedies that came out that just wasn't really funny. Yeah. They just they wasn't funny. Yeah. It was yeah, okay. And I don't and honestly, I don't think we went to any of them. No, we did You know, did. they had we a did, couple. Yeah. Oh, so what you call it wasn't as funny as this. Um, Girls Trip. So Girls Trip was a blend of being funny but having a s- serious overtones. Right. So it was a, a, a balance. So that really wasn't a comedy. Then they had some shows that were comedy, movies that were comedies that really we didn't go see because yeah. it wasn't fucking funny. No, it wasn't. And the critics said, it's not funny. So no. it wasn't. So you had a lot of, again, and we keep saying the characters, even though Jason Bateman and Rachel Adams were the two stars of the movie, the, the supporting cast was really, really did a good job. Yeah, because, you know, they had Dexter in there. That yeah, was Michael funny. C. Hall. My, that so was funny as hell. Dexter show up. <laughs> As a criminal on the back half of the movie, but hey, it's always good to see Dexter. I know it's good. You could never forget Dexter. I'm like, okay, Dexter, what you gonna do next? So what is Dexter gonna do? You know. So. So it was. It was really, really funny. It was. So and 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 here's the thing: when you have a comedy, it's all about the jokes, and you know we're not gonna quote the jokes, um, but there was just so many funny scenes and. And some of the dialogue was just so funny. There was, there was one that they were saying, um, they was doing a game, and the one, you know, dud of a friend that they had, the young kid guy who was just such a uh, jock that didn't know shit. He he always brought these dumb women with him, and they had one part, and it was like, um, um, you know, so they was doing like charades, and it was like, uh, sounds like. Um, elitist, um, better than everyone, and better than, and she screams out, "White people!" And they go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> like that was funny. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, you know? that was funny. So, uh-huh. it, and the, and the, what's good is when you when you have a good comedy, they don't linger on a joke so you can catch it. You have to be able to catch it, which that's what I like. I don't want you to give me the joke. I want you, I have to be able to catch the joke. And there was a lot of them um, that you had to just catch. And they moved on. Or they'll mention a joke and then they'll leave it alone. And then it'll come up. Like there was like the, the dud said, oh, you know what? White people have, um, um, they pay people to fight in there. Because when you get rich, you ain't got nothing else better to do. Yes, and they did. have they have people that fight for them. They have poor and people. He was like, "Shut up." He said, like, "Poor and he people." He was like, "I know it. I knew it." <laughs> he and they go into a mansion and they oh have a fucking gosh. fight club in the yeah, basement. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, so that it was, was just funny. crazy. That was but, funny. But overall, a very, very fun and funny movie, and it's worth seeing. You know, sadly, it came in on the back end. Oh, Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, I see that it didn't make them the money it should nationwide and everything. Right, right. So, and, and again, everybody's going to suffer because of this movie. But if you look at the critics and what people say about it, they really like it. It's it's about time you have a good, funny, um, laugh out loud, continuous jokes throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. It didn't have a lag in it. And when it did lag, it was just building up to something else. So it's kind of lagged and it just jumped into, you know, pretty much everybody else. And then they had so many other characters. They came and then they left. Right. So it, it a lot of people didn't linger long on it other than the main characters. And when the main characters is on, you was okay. Um, critics, you know, funny, funny movie, you know. Um, Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams makes a joke about a child actors not amounting to much. Um, they got goofs and different little stuff, but it was it was a very entertaining 
quirky kind of comedy because um, I didn't know it would be funny, but the actors really carried the jokes and did some a lot of good stuff on there. But um, I enjoyed it. I, I just thought it was really good um, for a comedy and enjoy factor. I'll give it an eight two five because mm. I, I because this is again a good comedy. I'll continue to see. I'll, yeah. I'll put it right back on. Yeah, that one I will put was, back on too. As soon as I see it, I'll be like, oh, that's that one. I love this. I'll see it again and again and again. So, you know, I'm, I'm rating this pretty, pretty high. And yeah. you notice we didn't even really go through the movies like we normally do because it's too much jokes. So a lot of it was jokes and dialogue. And except for quoting them, you know, it's worth seeing. Yep. It's really funny and worth seeing. It's, it's a kidnapping that you got to find the kidnapping and then come to find out the kidnapping was a stage. But within the staging, his brother was not really who he said he was. He was doing some illegal stuff. But in top of the illegal stuff he was doing, someone hijacked the actual game. But within the game, there was a real shit that was going on. And it was all over and over and over. But she, it made sense because they established the characters. Yeah, it, it was wasn't really like good. a surprise. It was kind of like, yeah, I, I yeah, mm-hmm. I guess that would 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 could happen or whatever. So, but your thoughts, baby? I oh, no, I I really enjoyed the characters. Just were great together. Um, it was just funny. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. Um, and I gave it an eight. Gave it I an gave eight. It, yeah, I gave yeah. it an eight. Yeah, it was in line together. Yeah, yeah. eight so, two five eight. Yeah. It's gonna say eight, but I I really like to see this again. You know, oh no, this definitely is, gonna. This is funny to me that that I just oh no. I love to see. So this is kind of thing you, when you home, you can sit at home watching yep. this over and over again. Yep. Because you're gonna, you're gonna, you normally when you see the first, the first time you see a comedy, um, and you laughing a lot, and laughing. The second time there was the, the first time you just jokes you miss. Mm-hmm. And because so, you're laughing, right, right. But once you know what the jokes are, you'll find the other jokes that you kind of exactly. like, oh, that's what he was talking about. Yeah, so the second time you see it, you'll catch the other jokes. Mm-hmm. And then the third time you see it, you're just seeing it just to see it yeah, because, because you, you already see it. it. Yeah, you just want to laugh, a good laugh. So, yes, it was a very, it was funny. So it's Jason Bateman, it's is, is just funny anyway. But He's just so selective of what he do. But Rachel McAdams was funny as hell. She <laughs> was a character on this movie. There's a portion that she takes the gun oh and she my, thinks it's fake. Oh my god! She thinks it's a fake gun and <laughs> she, she like, makes everybody lay down on the ground and then she wants them to do yoga. She said, "Get on the ground, bitches!" And he was like, "Hey, hey, we don't need all of that." that you know, was Jason so was like, oh, funny. Do we, "Do we really got to do that?" And it was so funny. And, oh, and, but she she's just so entertaining on here <laughs> so you know but they don't both of them played off each other so well they so did if you they really did. look at the movie they they take over the his brother brooks I mean, he was okay he was just an asshole and he played the asshole and it was kind of cool and um so <laughs> it was really good so eight and an eight two five uh, other than that, uh, you can get us on bougieblackbrother.com or leave uh, leave some messages or comments or whatever. Hey, just on, tell us if you want us to review a movie or yeah. a TV there's, there's, show. There's a, a couple of things that's out there. Yeah. Wrinkle in Time um, and what's that? Red Sparrow. I don't yeah. think we want to see Death Wish. I really don't want to for that. I'm not into that type of fun gun violence. Fun gun violence. Now, that's I something I would catch up on um, HBO. Somewhere else. You or know. some bootleg. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't pay money or time to go to the movies to see that. But we yeah. got a couple of that's coming up. And then March has a couple of other movies that's coming out, too. So, got to be prepared. Um, I think the Pacific Rim is coming back out. Yes, it is in March. The... Um, Ready Player One, which is another huge movie, but you have all those in between before um, Big Civil War and Solo and I think one other big movie coming out around the same time too. So you got to be prepared, um, getting ready to turn over 
into the summer movies. But here's some things they slide in and try to get their money's worth. But um, follow us on Instagram or Twitter, Bougie Black Bro, B R O, or Find B L K Woman, Find Black Woman, Instagram and Twitter. Follow us on Facebook if you like at Bougie Black Brother Network. And I am on Tumblr hanging out, and you can catch us on YouTube because there's a lot of little videos that we put on as well. Mostly the podcast videos, but we do have videos on other things. So be prepared, and we'll go from there. Other than that, uh, anything to close out, baby? No, darling. Uh, and see us next week, next Tuesday, and next Wednesday. We got a couple of shows that we still be viewing. And the movies that we've seen as well on Tuesdays and Wednesdays on Urban Lifestyle Cafe. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.